Welcome to another video from explainingcomputers.com. This time I'm going to install the OSMC Media Player on this Raspberry Pi, which in my previous video I equipped with a case, a wireless keyboard and a Wi-Fi dongle. OSMC stands for the Open Source Media Center and is a Linux distribution which brings the Kodi Media Player to a range of devices, including the Raspberry Pi. In turn, Kodi is the new name for a XBMC, which is a media player I'd previously installed on a Raspberry Pi in another video. Anyway, hopefully that's all clear, but even if it isn't, the key thing to say is that in this video I'm going to install a fantastic new media player on a Raspberry Pi. Downloading and installing OSMC, the Open Source Media Center, is very straightforward. You just have to go to a osmc.tv and as you can see you can then just click on the download. Uh, we can then select uh, what device we want to install it on. It can run on all sorts of things. I'm going to uh, pick the uh, Raspberry Pi obviously um, and it just takes us down look to uh, Windows. And you're thinking oh I just said Raspberry Pi but this is a clever bit because I click on Windows and this will now take me to a page where there is an installer to actually do everything automatically under Windows. So if I click on the uh, self-extracting installer here that will extract down there and if I can then just run that file do I want to run that? Yes I do, I'll trust it and oh look we're already on the installer for OSMC. My language is English what would you like to install OSMC on? I want to do a Raspberry Pi 2 I've got my font scaling up a little bit so you can see it but I trust, trust me that is Raspberry Pi 2 and then we'll click the uh, continue button what version would I like? Well, I think I'll select the latest version. Why not? Let's be wild. Um, where am I going to install it? Well, on an SD card. How is it going to connect to the internet? It's going to connect via a wireless. Um, set up your wireless connection. Is your network encrypted? Yes, it's a WPA, um, WPA2 PSK. And I need to put in my SSID, the ID of my network. My network is called cjb underscore net, that's the name of my router, and my key is a long string which I'll just put in. There we are, not very impressed that actually appears on the screen, but there we are. Where would I like to install OSMC? I'd like to install it on D, which is the um, micro SD card connected to this computer right now. And I will accept the end user license. And there it goes, it's now going to uh, download the software and then um, install it on the micro SD card. And it's now extracting the files. Are you sure you want to install OSMC on the device you selected? Uh, go for yes. And it's now writing the files to my device. And there we are, it's finished, we're ready for showtime. I'll click quit here, but then we can go and put our card into our waiting Raspberry Pi. Right, our Raspberry Pi is now all connected up with the SD card inserted, and so I'm going to boot it up. And uh, here we go, we've got the standard Raspberry Pi a splash screen. This is the first boot into OSMC. Picked up a bit of a cursor there. Exciting, isn't it? You never know, quite know what's going to happen on your first boot, but we're hopefully getting somewhere. And oh look, OSMC is there, formatting device. That must be a good sign. Various other installation things going on. This, of course, will only happen on the first boot, but I wanted to show you the first boot so you see exactly what will happen when you set it up. I suppose in theory all the, the wireless networking stuff should be automatically there because we entered that information when we set the card up under Windows. And there we are, the installation of files is completed, um, OSMC installed successfully. I wonder what will happen next. And of course, what happens next is a, a reboot, which will take us back inevitably to a, a, a black screen and then to the OSMC splash screen, and oh, here we are, we've arrived in the OSMC. Uh, welcome, it says, it wants to know um, 
what language we're in. That's a reasonable thing, I guess. Is my keyboard awake? Oh, it is. What language do I want to be? I think I want to be uh, English. I think I'll, I'll stick with that. Uh, do I want to be English? Yes, I do. And yes, I agree to the license. Would I like to receive the newsletter? Not now. That's it. I'm ready to enjoy OSMC. Exit. Uh, and my little wireless keyboard working really well. So here you are, as you can see, um, OSMC has a very uh, straightforward, very uh, clean looking uh, interface. Um, we'll just uh, maybe nip into uh, my OSMC over there. Oh, it's updating things, look. That's a good sign because it means we must be online. But I'm going to go into uh, my OSMC, which as you can see is a little uh, menu which has got some rather rather wacky animation. That's interface on this. Um, that symbol down at the bottom there is the uh, settings menu. If I go into that uh, and I go down to a wireless, you can see we're online. Yes, all that's working. So obviously all our settings worked. I'll just press the escape key. You've got to learn your keys in OSMC. Go back there and I'll get back to the menu. Some of you have asked about different controllers when I put up my last video. There's a controllers menu there. You can pick different types of controllers if you've got the uh, infrared receivers to actually work with them, which is jolly handy. Um, and I'll go back out of that. And there's also here in the configuration menu, my OSMC, there's a Raspberry Pi thing there. You can configure um, your Raspberry Pi, your configuration settings, etc. if you want to. But I'm sure most of you really want to see this actually working with videos. So I'm going to go up to videos there and um, enter. Now, of course, nothing's available at the moment. I'll go to a video add-ons. And of course, I want to get more because we have none. Let's do get more. And it'll hopefully find there's loads there. There's 295 of them. That's quite a few, isn't it? I think I can just, uh, if I can find the right key, I can go down quickly because, of course, you all know where I'm going to go. The obvious place I have to go, which is down here somewhere, there will be, where's it gone? YouTube. Let's select YouTube. Install YouTube. Yes, there we are. YouTube is uh, installing. Almost complete. The suspense is killing me. YouTube has been added. That's, that's marvellous. So if I go back uh, a level, I can now select YouTube. Execute setup wizard, obviously, yes. Language and region adjustment. Oh, go on, yes. We'll see how exciting that is. Do you sometimes wish you hadn't selected something? I want English. Oh, go on, I'll be English. There, there we are, that's good. Select region, oh dear. There we are, United Kingdom. Uh, I'm not going to sign in, but I will do a, a search. Let's see if we can find some YouTube content. Now, I'm not going to search for uh, my own channel because watching your own videos on YouTube is not a good idea if you've got Advertising Active. So I'm going to look for um, Thomas San Lazaro, who uh, runs a fantastic channel on 3D printing and who's kindly said I can look at his content on our uh, test of uh, OSMC. And when we select then what channels from that search, and there he is, look. And hopefully, this will allow us to get to some actual content. There we are, there's, um, say, his review of the printer bot play. You can see the thumbnail there. And if I press enter, yes, it's opening up. Oh, there's Thomas clearing his throat, um, talking to us on uh, YouTube. I can um, go forward a bit by using the little paddle and forward a lot more by using more of the paddle. Keep, keeps, keeps going along. Um, I can also go back, if I press escape, back in to look at what's going on. You can go back several levels and you're probably still here. Thomas is still talking. How would I get back to the video? This confused me for a bit. You press tab, you're back to your video. So you can see what is, what is going on there. So it's fairly straightforward to figure out what is happening and what's going on. Um, you can also stop a video by pressing, um, I think it's the X key. 
there he is, we, we've stopped him. But that, that proves the principle we can play YouTube video and thanks to Thomas there for appearing in this video. You can also, of course, play video from your own media. So if I take a uh, USB key, got one over there with some content on it and plug it in like that. Hopefully it will pick up that media. It's picked up a, a mounted removable hard drive. It's not a removable hard drive, it's a USB key, but it's the thought that counts, I'm sure. And if I now go into um, what videos again, I can now go into files and enter on that. And oh look, we've got our uh, USB key. And this will now show us everything on that USB key. Loads and loads and loads and loads and loads and loads and things. Haven't I made a lot of videos? This is just a few of them. Um, so we've got things like, uh, I don't know, resources from space. I put recently on my Expelling the Future channel. Would that play? It will. And again, the thing works and we can flick through, look at the content. Yes, you, you get the principle. It's a media player. It plays media. That's what media players do. Let's press a stop again. Oops, didn't want to do that. I pressed the wrong button. I press S. Didn't want to press S. Deary me, escape. I wanted to press X to stop it. That's better. Who says I don't know how to operate this thing properly yet? Final thing I want to show you, we have got the settings menu. I'll we'll go down to uh, that there. Lots of settings here. I love the fact there's a setting for the weather. I would point out this is not a setting for uh, actually controlling the weather via your Raspberry Pi. It is merely to select a service which will tell you the weather, but I do find it's great it's there. But more significantly, you've got, for example, the appearance setting. Some people may find this interface a little bit stark, um, so you can go and change the skin. So we're on the OSMC skin there, but we could pick the uh, what's called the Confluence skin, which is a more familiar skin if you've been using previously XBMC. If we want to keep that, yes. And so we'd have a similar thing there, but we can go back and we're now in a skin that you'll be very familiar with if you've used the previous uh, version of Kodi, which is a XBMC. Lots of stuff going on, we don't want to do all that, but again, we can see content very, very straightforwardly. Oh look, how ironic, there is the video about the previous version of um, the media player, XBMC on the Raspberry Pi from a long while ago. And, uh, and there it is, but again, we'll stop that. So, there we are, I've shown you um, a little bit about uh, XBMC. I felt I should be tidy, really, and uh, put the appearance back to how it how it started, which is uh, back to the standard OSMC one. Uh, but there we are. We'll keep that skin, and I've shown you the basics of using OSMC on a Raspberry Pi as a media player. A great way to access online content, to play um, local content, to access your pictures, and all kinds of other fantastic media stuff. OSMC turns a Raspberry Pi into a very capable media playback device. Equipped with a wireless keyboard, it even allows you to sit back and control your favourite videos whilst having a cup of tea. But now that's it for this time, and I hope to talk to you again very soon.